Today on the Texas Tribune Weekend Insider, we introduce you to two Texans whose big jobs are giving them big names in criminal justice and in education statewide. First, reporter Brandy Grissom profiles Williamson County District Attorney John Bradley, a hard-nosed prosecutor who says he has changed his philosophy after a high-profile DNA exoneration happened under his watch. And reporter Reeve Hamilton introduces us to Michael J. Sorrell, the Paul Quinn College president whose name and leadership style you may be hearing more about. John Bradley is the Williamson County District Attorney. He was appointed to that position in 2001 by Governor Perry, and he's really become known in Texas as a sort of tough-on-crime prosecutor with a reputation for no-nonsense and really getting long sentences. Um, and he's also had a role at the state legislature as well in sort of reforming penal codes. John Bradley has been at the center of two very controversial cases here in Texas. In 2009, he was chairman of the Forensic Science Commission when that agency took up the issue of the Cameron Todd Willingham case. Cameron Todd Willingham was executed in 2004. He had been convicted of setting an arson fire that killed his three daughters. Later on, several scientists came forward and said that the arson science used to convict Willingham was was not scientifically based um, and they really questioned whether he was guilty. When Bradley came on to the Forensic Science Commission appointed by Governor Perry, he had a large role in slowing down the process of the investigation of, of that case and his critics said that he was doing that as sort of political cover for Governor Perry. He developed a really hostile relationship with the Innocence Project, and they were the ones who were really trying to get the commission to investigate what had happened in the Willingham case. The second controversial case that uh, Bradley is involved in is the ongoing case of Michael Morton. Michael Morton was convicted in 1987 of uh, killing his wife. For the last six years, Bradley fought Morton's lawyer's requests for DNA testing on a bandana um, that was found near the crime scene. And this year that DNA evidence showed that Morton couldn't have killed his wife and so he was released from from prison in October. The interesting part here about looking at John Bradley is this transformation that he's undergone really in the last several months a really aggressive and hostile relationship with the Innocence Project to one of cooperation, more humility, he says, and working together to make sure that these kinds of things don't happen again. Paul Quinn College is a, is a very small, Christian, private, historically black college uh, in Dallas. Uh, so it has a long storied history. At this point, it's, it's best known for being on the verge of losing its accreditation as of 2009. Uh, now, under, under its current leadership, it's, it's really turning around in a sort of new and exciting way. The current president, Michael Sorrell, is a really interesting guy. He, um, he was a lawyer, but he just decided, despite not having a, a traditional higher education background, that he wanted to be the president of Paul Quinn College. He took an interest in it. And then shortly after he became president, he got into this accreditation trouble. He's been uh, steering it through that trouble, but also he is sort of reinventing the college and sort of the role of the university president. He didn't come up through the university system like most presidents do. So his approach to being university president is totally different at this time when everyone is sort of reevaluating and debating the role of universities in our society. He also happens to be one of the biggest bundlers, which is just a, you know, insidery way of saying fundraiser. He happens to be one of the biggest bundlers for uh, President Obama in the whole state of Texas. You know, I asked him if he wants to run for office, and he, he didn't rule it out. He, he said, you know, I think that's a noble thing to do if that opportunity ever presents itself, I, I would consider it. The reader should, should look to get a sense of President Sorrell and who this guy is, because, because it does seem like uh, his future will be significant for a number of Texans. Mm -hmm. 